Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and Larson has sent me an email and if you guys send me a question that I can't really answer with an email, I'm going to do a video on it. The last one was to Ruthie, this one's to Larson. He's having trouble tightening the mower deck belt and I can see why with the pictures he sent me. I'll try to show this thing to you. <clears throat> There's the bolt that goes between the rear case and the front assembly that's supposed to keep the belt tight. Larson, somebody's been in there and changed some parts because this is what you're supposed to have. It's more of a pin than it is a bolt. It's 625, so it's 5 8 in diameter. It is an inch and 3 8 inches long, just the pin part. This is a 3 8 fine thread, and that part is 625, so that's 5 8 long. This is what you're supposed to have, and it does more than just holds the front and back half together. Let me spin this thing around. I'm getting more crowded in here and I'll try to get on the other side of the machine and show you what you got. Now I got a light up here and it's probably washing everything out really bad but at least you can see a little better. This pin goes through here, and there's a nut on the bottom. Now, in this bracket, I don't know if you can see it, there's a slot right here. I don't know if I can get you any closer. I can't even reach the camera. Hang on. There you can see the slot. If you turn the front end, that moves. Well, what that is doing is it only allows the front wheels to pivot so much. And we're going to put that back in there, put this nut back on it. You need a 9 16 wrench or ratchet or whatever you want to use and a pair of pliers to hold that pin. And of course it doesn't want to cooperate for some reason. This cable over here is in my way. Sure. Well, we'll try to go on the other side of it. Tighten that up good because you sure don't want to lose it. Now, Larson, you can take your model number and go on Parts Tree and order one of these. And you're supposed to have a bunch of washers. Now, as you can see, these washers are still painted in one piece. So, this has never been worked on. And what you do to tighten your belt is you have to lift this up, well, if it was sitting on the ground, all you'd have to do is slide the tube forward. Now he has a rectangular tube, and this is, of course, a round tube, but they're both identical as far as how this works. And this is the shims. This is what the shims look like. They snap around the tube. Now, back behind this, Coming out of your rectangular tube is a round tube, so this will work. Now, I don't know if I can lift this thing up or not. Probably not. But you slide it under this plate. You hook it on here and snap it in place. And that's how it fits under the plate. 
Now I'll tell you what, the way my back feels, I'm not going to try and lift this up. I hope you get the idea of how them go in there. You can also buy these from Parts Tree. And they are about 150 thousandths thick. So when you get that snapped in there, behind the plate, you're going to have less room for these washers. I don't know if you, you can see the hole and a hairpin goes through there. So to adjust your belt, you don't need any tools. All you have to do is pull this hairpin out, put your spacers in, Put back on whatever washers will fit and put your hairpin back in. And that's all you got to do to tighten your belt. Now, I don't know how much these sell for. I didn't go online and look. And I don't know how much the pin sells for. But that's all there is to tightening your belt. And you just snap that back on. I have never had one of these. I had a viewer that asked me how to adjust his uh, deck belt, and I told him, and he bought, I don't know, five or six of them. He said, Jim, I got one extra one. I'm going to mail it to you so you have something to show. That's what they look like. And that's all there is to adjusting your belt. It just snaps right on there. So what I think I'm going to do is, if I can, I'll quick go on Parts Tree and I'll get you a couple prices. Hang on. Well, that was a little bit longer break than I thought. When I was looking up parts, the wife called and she says, I, I need something fixed. I had to go in the house. And while I was in there, I figured, out, hey, might as well take a shower. And I dug out a new flannel shirt. I'm not really sure if I'm nuts about the color or not, but hey, it's soft. The sleeves aren't shrink, shrunk. I guess it'd be shrunk. Yeah, but they're still long, so things are good at Jim's Fix-It Shop. <laughs> now, Larson, I have some parts and prices for you. Now, if you can't find the model number on your machine, I'll let you use the one that I used. I couldn't use mine because it's a round tube. And, well, besides, mine wasn't even on Parts Tree's list. I don't know why. So I went up one number. This is a series 15. Mine is a series 17 and I couldn't find it on the list. So the part or the model number that I used is 280915BE. Now I had a viewer, I got a scratchy, must be a scratchy shirt or something told me how to cipher these numbers. So when you go look at a snapper to buy it, you can tell if they've changed some things. First off, the first two numbers, 28, that's a 28 inch deck. The second two numbers, 09, that is a nine horse engine. The next two numbers, the third set is 15. That's a Series 15 machine. BE, that's another indication that they changed the engine. They may have found a nine horse and put it on there, but BE is for Briggs and Stratton Electric Start. Now, if you got a BVE or BEV, I don't know how they put it. I think the V is in the middle. That's a Briggs and Stratton overhead valve engine with electric start. So Larson, let's look up these parts that you need. Number 33 is the first one. That is the spacer. Now these are roughly one eighth of an inch thick. 
to figure out how many you need because these puppies are $4.53 a piece. I would put my deck in gear, put the pedal down, and put a clamp on it. Take that assembly apart that you've got with the nut and bolt. Pull the frame apart until the belt is the right distance between where they come together, which is roughly an eighth, uh, eighth, roughly an inch. Then you can measure the distance between the rear case and that plate and give you a rough idea how many of these you need. Now, if you're frugal or cheap, whatever, you can get one of these and trace this onto a piece of tempered eighth inch hardboard. Tempered hardboard is impregnated with oil and it helps it be a little more water and weather resistant, not proof. And you could trace this and cut them out of hardboard. I don't see why it wouldn't work. Can't say that I haven't done that myself, but hey, <clears throat> that's another story. It's up to you. Parts Tree ships. The last I knew, $7.95 anywhere in the United States, regardless of how much or how little you buy. So you can buy one of these, you're gonna pay $7.95, or you can buy half the parts you need to rebuild this machine that weighs 60 pounds or better, and it's gonna be $7.95. Another little thing you gotta watch parts tree is they do not sell anything as a set or a kit. I got in trouble when I bought some airlifts for my machines. I needed three pairs, so I had to buy six of them. They sell everything individual. Who wants one airlift? Boy, that'd really make the thing shake. So when I ordered the airlifts, I didn't know I wasn't going to get the nuts and bolts to hold them on with. So I just used standard nuts and bolts because I wasn't going to pay another $7.95 to get six bolts and six nuts. Okay, the next part you need is number 37, which is the stud. It is a 3 8 24 by 5 8 shoulder stud is what they call it. And that puppy is $8.22. The next part you're going to need is number 44. And that is the nut. And it says on here, <laughs> 3816. Well, that's a little difficult to get that on your stud, which is 3 8 24. So if that's all they got, don't buy that one. Go to the hardware store and get a 3 8 24 right hand nylock nut. And I'm sure it's gonna be less than $2.29. The next thing you're gonna need is number 47 and that is the hairpin. And it gives a size of 1 8 by 2 and 9 16 long. And that puppy is $2.29, which probably is cheaper at the hardware store. But what you need to know is the diameter of the wire, which is 1 8 of an inch. The 2 and 9 16 forget about it. Because all the hairpins, the wire diameter, determines how big it is. I bought some 1 16th, they're about that long. These things, well, they're almost, according to this, two and a half inches long. And that's all you need. The stud, the spacer, the nut, and the hairpin. <coughs> so if you have any other questions, please let me know. That's what I'm here for. If you guys have something that you need help doing, 
regardless of what that might be, send me an email. And if it's something I think is a little too difficult for an email, I'll make you a video. The next video is going to be from Sam's wife. She says Sam is too busy working on snappers and selling them to fix what she needs fixed in the house. So I am going to do a video and show her how to fix this item. It's very simple and uh, that'll be next. So if you have something you need help with, please let me know. And talk about fixing machines and selling them. Here's a gentleman that says, thank you, Jim, for all your help for me fixing my machines and selling them. He calls this his fleet. Now, I don't know if all these puppies are for sale or not, because they are beautiful all painted and shiny one two three four five i see five of them there and a zero turn back there in the background he's even got one here that looks like it's got the uh, knobby tires on it like a tractor would have i gotta find out where he lives i have a trailer we could go over there at night sometime and borrow a couple he probably he never miss them so if you're new to the station, please subscribe. It's going to help me stay on YouTube with subscribers. And maybe someday they'll actually pay me for these stupid commercials they put on my videos. A thumbs up will really help too. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and keep on snapping. We'll talk to you soon. Larson, let me know.